up, friends? This is Jazz, bringing you another episode of Kindergarten. Last time, I believe, we're getting close to the finale of the game. I think we are on the last part. It was a while since I, uh, went through this game. I apologize. I've been doing a lot. So, as I said, we'll just go as it is. I believe, yeah, we need the principal's office key. Getting everything we need. I just find this very interesting game. Like how every like every time we repeat the same day, it kind of adds to it. We get an item that will make it for you to be able to complete other missions. But I just find it so interesting that it's literally the same day, not like the same day of the week, but the same day. Actually, recently I actually got the second Kindergarten 2. Now, am I going to let's play it? Maybe not for a little while, but it's something I would have liked to eventually put on this channel. Since I put this one on the channel. But I, I really enjoyed playing this game. It was, it was a unique experience, to say the least. And, ironically, this is one game that looks like it could be for children, but it, it definitely isn't. I mean, it, like, some of the main... Some of the main games are obvious for, obviously, like, so, some of the main games that are meant for mature audiences are obviously for mature audiences, but there are some games here, right, that, you know, kind of look like they could be, like, because they're a cartoon. Like, South Park, for example, I mean, it had enough exposure to be known that it isn't for kids, but... But it is a cartoon. Ha <laughs> ha! I love and hate the teacher at the same time. She is one of the. Like, actually, she definitely should not be a teacher, though. I guess, okay. So we have to kind of observe this. So now that part is observed. Actually, it's so funny that literally you could just you could give the teacher drugs and and she'll kind of not care what you do. That's one big reason why she is a terrible teacher. A sane teacher would not be into any of this. But yeah, we're supposed to kind of go to the, like, back to the principal's office eventually and discover something is going on. <laughs> well, she tries, she tries. I think we have to go to the janitor now because we figured it's clogged. <sighs> so we need to take something from here. 
we need to confirm that, like, that something is going on, like there's a body part or something. Or shoe, I forget what it is. A, sh a shoe, it's it. <laughs> but we need evidence that some Billy is missing. Ah, oh, my favorite character, Nuggets, over there. <sighs> Ironically, it was so long since I played it that some of the names I forget. I know Lily's name, I know Nugget's name, I know Billy's name. Jerome is the one who's African. Oh, jeez. Bugs is the bully. I'm start Sydney. Okay, I'm remembering most of them. Cannot remember the guy with the glasses, though. I think, is it Miss Applegate who's the teacher? We think we have your cigarettes. We can bribe him with cigarettes. Here. Now we have a few minutes so you can call the phone and the principal will go at. Now, hopefully, we have a chance to get into the principal's office. We have the key from the key mold. And we, we, we exposed the area where there's an underground area, I believe. So we just need to press this. And here we are. Let's open the door now, guys. Just thought I'd let you know that even after this main game's over, I'm going to try for to get the real ending. So we're going to be. Oh God, that is so weird looking. This is one other reason this game is not meant for kids. It's, there's so there's so many disgusting you know scene scenery in it and the fact that there's so much violence we have to do this then we have to press red to destroy this guy then uh, wait Okay, oh, flip. Okay, no, we don't have to kill this guy. We have to press... Uh... Yeah, we, don't, we had to kill the monster on our side, I know that. And leave the monster on the opposite side. Yeah, Nugget is a bit weird, just to say the very least. That's why he's my favorite of all these characters. I'm going to press the blue button. Yeah, that will release them, and the monster will attack the principal. You have to be really, really careful with doing those commands. You only got so many apples and you don't want the monster on your side to attack you but you don't want to kill Billy either so you have to change Billy back first. Kill the monster, change Billy back and then hopefully the rest is kind of as it is. Cause you, can release, you can release Billy and Jesus, you, you can kill the principal and release Billy at the same time. <laughs> uh, 
Oh boy. <laughs> wow! Yeah, Prince or uh, Teacher of the Year. Teacher of the Year. She, yeah, Teacher of the Year. She is not. I mean, she she about to abandon her students because she wasn't getting a paycheck. I mean, I know th that. I mean, teachers should be paid. But, I mean, she leaves them right in the middle of it. No substitute or whatever. But we got a new Monster Mon card. And I guess it's so rare there's only one in existence. That is so cool. But anyway, to get the... The real ending, the secret ending, we need to collect all the Monster Mon cards that are available in this game. You know, the ones there. We need to fill the whole area, so we'll be using part of this episode and some of another episode. We might have one more episode to collect these Monster Mon cards. It's going to be quite difficult because there's a lot that we have to figure out. Actually, collecting all these cards are bit more difficult than completing this actual game the first time. I mean, at first it's a little confusing to complete the game, but it if you follow directions, then it's not too bad if you know what to do. But collecting all these cards, you have to do things in specific ways. So I'm going to be doing my best here. Oh, speaking of cards and one of a kind, I found out recently, this is going to be on a card opening way before this this app, this video is out, but what are the cards that I, that was, or what are my cards in my Pokemon card opening? It was like a Japanese executor. Apparently there was only 22 in existence. Wow. I mean, maybe now there's 23. I don't know. I, because the person who told me said there was only 22 in existence. So, uh, maybe I have one of the 22. Or maybe I have an additional one that is now in existence. I have no idea. But I guess that card is really rare. So, I know I'm definitely going to take care of that one then. Not that I don't take care of all my cards to begin with. I mean, 99% of them are all in their binders now. The only things I gotta finish are the Pokemon ones. I'm doing that well. I know you're thinking, oh, you're at work and you're doing that. Well, my work area is a little different in a way. Like, it, it's kind of as a special needs area, so in the area I'm at, it's kind of everyone, some, a lot of them have the same program, but some are, are tailored. And I'm allowed, right at this point, I'm allowed to put my cards in my binder as part of my activity. So, I've been getting on to that. A little bit. That, and I'm, I'm allowed to listen to YouTube videos. It's kind of more like background noise for me if I'm doing something. And that's too because I have a lot of anxi social anxiety. I think we can get a card from the principal. Oh wait, no, maybe we don't. I am extremely confused. It was a while since I played it. But yeah, so my point being is that my cards are being put in my binder and I have a whole bunch of purple one cards that I realized I had. I thought I finally almost finished them and then I realized there was another whole tote of them. Which, a majority of these cards are the older ones. And I actually found some of the original fossil jungle and the original, you know, base Pokemon cards. Now, I got a good chunk of them. Right? But, said so I got a good chunk of them. But there are still some that I would need to complete my set, the set. So I might just eventually look up on how to get them. I know some of the ones that I'm missing are extremely rare. 
it would be worth quite a bit of money to buy. So, ironically and sadly, three of them, I believe, are... I don't know, it might have Blastoise. I don't know, I can't remember. But, I know I got, I don't have the Phenosaur or the Charizard from the original set. Which is, Charizard itself is worth a pretty penny, so... But I mean, I got a lot of good cards now that would be is almost as rare as the Charizard one was back then. I mean, I made the joke with my aunt that if I were able to go back in time to my elementary school, I would be the envy of the school, showing off my co my whole collection of Pokemon cards in itself. I'd probably be considered one of the coolest kids in the school, minus the fact that I didn't have the holographic Charizard or Venus or Blast toys. I would have a lot more cards, like I have a lot more rare cards than those two, you know, those three combined. So, I mean, it's so funny how, because, and they, and the, technically back then those cards didn't even exist. So, I would be in a good state right there. But it's hard to believe how long I've been hold, saving up Pokemon cards. Like, I've been collecting them since maybe I was 8 or 9, so maybe 20 years or so, 20 to 19 years, that I've been holding on to them. I mean, I've almost, I don't think I've ever really gotten rid of Pokemon cards. I know that, but with Yu-Gi-Oh! in that, well, Yu-Gi-Oh! were the only other cards I collected at a time. So, I regret now getting rid of a lot of my Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. But there are some, I did keep a few of them, which was I had a deck that I used to use, and I kept that for sentimental value. Kind of glad I did, because there are still some good cards in that, that I was able to add to my collection when I'm recollecting them. But I mean, as I said, like, I've gotten a big collection of all the cards I've collected so far. I mean, Pokemon is by far my biggest amount, but I've been, got, I've been getting a good decent chunk of Yu-Gi-Oh cards now, and mag the Magic the Gathering is starting to build up too. Well, slightly. Hockey cards, I'm still on a... Well, as I'm recording this anyway, I'm still on a slow slope of collecting them, but I think I'm building up them too. Fake ones, well, most of my fake ones are the same, in a way, so, I have a minuscule collection. Ironically, I get, I got less new, I get more doubles in fake cards than I do with any of my other series so far. And that's even of Pokemon. Speaking of, I'm going to have to go back from my binder and add the doubles to a, a deck box. But actually, I've been enjoying putting my cards in my binder. I'm half debating on, after a while, saving my Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic the Gathering for I can re-add them, too. But right now, I have a quite a decent chunk of Pokemon that I still need to add after going for that tote. Well, not tote, not a big tote, but a little, like, the where you, you know, the ones that had the dividers, right? There, there used to be deck tote, little deck totes. The only cards I didn't add to put in my binder were the energy cards. Because, heck, you need a lot of them. Actually, I think I only have so many fairy, too, so... I got a fairy deck, though. We're slowly getting there, guys, I believe. So, what else is new? As I said, I've been, there's been a lot of ideas that I've wanted to do for videos and as I said as you you see this it'll be a while in the future so I don't know if I've done any of them but I mean there's several times I wanted to do a Professor Oak challenge video but and I do I've completed a few games 
in the Professor Oak challenge. I, I actually did. I just have to find a way to way to kind of do it. I want to do it a little more unique than either John Stone or Chaotic Meatball. But I don't know how. Like, and plus, the, what, the games I've been playing, the systems I've been playing on, I wasn't able to get any real footage. I mean, I suppose I could just go through and breeze through a game on an emulator and get some pictures or something. But Again, that would be way too much just for that at this point, so I I'm figuring it out. I'm slowly figuring it out. I mean, I could just do a narration of how I do it. I mean, it was fun to play them in the Professor Oak Challenge. I've, I've gone out of them a little bit. Right, because I've been doing different things with Pokemon games. And, like, let's play wise, I'm still fo figuring all that out. I mean, right now, I'm trying to slow down on Pokemon a little bit. A little bit. Not saying it's completely gone from my channel. Obviously, you've recently seen probably the finale at this point of my Blue Rescue Team, if you've seen this episode, I'm planning to upload the series after the Blue Rescue Team is finished. And, I mean, I still haven't finished Ultra... What is it? Moon? Or is it Ultra... No, Ultra Sun, I think. I mean, I think if I work on Pokemon again, that might be what I do. Right? It... Because I've never played it on my channel, so I might do that. The only other game I'm thinking that I might do someday for Pokemon would be Pokemon Trading Card Game. But I'm figuring out that I'm not as good with the game. I mean, I know this it's more simple than the online games nowadays. But it's something you really have to grind for. I mean, I'm playing it. I've gotten a version of it. On, I, on my 3DS and I was playing it and like on the Virtual Boy and it's difficult enough as it is. I mean, I guess I could use some codes to help, but I want to try to be as natural as possible with it. When you think about it, you gotta do a lot of grinding because you have to, you start off with only one type of deck then you have to grind, like the first one you battle, I think, is the rock. Not gym, but you know, the the, the club and then you have to you want to grind up enough to get a decent amount of you know rock and ground car you know the, the the fighting that's what they call it fighting like both fighting and it's confusing how the fighting and the rock are similar in a way only they have different weaknesses they have the same symbol but they have different weaknesses so you have to build up the the rock and the Okay, was it rock, ground, and fighting cards to help you with the electric club? And not just that, you have to build up your, your energies for each deck, too. So it's one of those situations that it would take a long time to complete. So I'm, I'm sorting everything else that way. I don't, I mean, I love doing Let's Plays for you guys, but I kind of also want to just do different things on my channel as well. Like, I consider myself a, a what is it, a jack-of-all-trades and master-of-none YouTuber, and it's a, it's a weird way to put it. I know sometimes people say it's best just to max, to master one thing and do it well. But I'm the type of person that struggles to do those type of things for one so I would rather be decent all as much as I can right I mean I do eventually want to get better at each of them right I don't I don't think I'd ever be a master of them but to do the best that I can we got oh I guess we already got freezer guy gym but we got one new card anyway as I said slow but surely well 17 Mondays we've We've played this a lot. It, it is going to be played a lot. Definitely. 
I'm going to try to slow some, eventually cut, I mean, I'm definitely going to show each card being collected or whatever, but I'm going to, if it's, if it, if it's not that hard to get or whatever, I'm going to kind of, you know, cut the unimportant things out. Like, if we've seen something happen, I'm going to try to limit it and only show you the new stuff, like me collecting the card, or if there's something specifically I have to do to get the card that's different, I would show that. Uh, one thing is, it is important, I think, I don't know, try to remember, oh yeah, we need the blood because we're going to be using that to... Oh boy. Uh oh. No, couldn't get it. Yeah, what a vice. What is it? Yep. So what are we doing at this point? Are we talking to Sydney? No, maybe not. I am so confused. Because we have the pig's blood. I mean, why would we have the pig's blood if we weren't going to pour it on? I must have messed something up. Yeah, I think I messed something up. Because I know, like, there's so much that you have to do. Like, you can only do so many things in one day. Like, I know you have to make Sydney think that you're going to pour it on Lily's head. But we did get one new one. So hopefully now we'll eventually be able to... Okay, yep, so we have to get the pit's blood after we get something for... So now we have to go and buy something vegetarian, but I think we can buy this and give this to Sydney because we can earn another card. Because there's a little secret here. Yep. Kind. No, actually. Now that I think about it, it is not vegan at all. It's the absolute worst thing in the world. Uh, now that I'm thinking on it, of it, I, it's the worst possible thing she could be eating. We need to collect this bucket. Thought, though did I do something wrong I think we should have talked to the janitor now that I think about it if I wanted that other I says that I've been sucking so bad at this at least I'm gonna get one new card by being in big a-hole to my girlfriend here Okay. I'm sorry, Cindy, but it's about time we broke up. 
<laughs> oh. trouble or are we are we in trouble wait yeah we're gonna collect this first what oh wow Yeah. Uh, sure. Awesome! We got a brand new card for killing Sydney. Uh, <sighs> well, at least I don't get in trouble because I showed something that wasn't inappropriate and I actually did show something, so. We got a brand new card to add to our collection. It is really bright star. Nineteen. Wow, we're almost at twenty, you know, tries. Oh, sneaky snake. And Really bright star, so it'll be okay. We're getting close, sort of. I said it's still gonna take a little while, but I plan to get that ending that I want to get so badly. Hopefully, by the next episode, we should get it if we really, really work hard. We need to take how much? We'll take it all. We'll just take it all. Did I make a mistake though, not bringing anything else? Oh yeah, yeah, hello there, buddy. not supposed to tell on bugs here. Monty is his name. Dude, I remember it. Hooray. I actually remembered his name and it only took 33 minutes. Oh, I guess I was supposed to. So I honestly forget which we're... Oh yes, we're supposed to get a recorder. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're supposed to... How do I... Why? Oh. 
Um, yeah. Oh. Let me see. Wait, am I supposed to do the whole... And I'm supposed to... supposed to do that whole mission again? I am just absolutely confused because I'm getting <laughs> Yeah, literally. Yeah, your dad his dad is literally going to kill him. But would he actually do that? Oh, wait, I think there is a reason we are doing this. Isn't that right? Oh, shoot, we didn't get the knife. Dang it. I think we did it wrong here. We did it wrong. Yeah, we did it wrong, guys. We were supposed to somehow get that knife to stab bugs. Dang it. Well, I make mistakes sometimes. It happens. Because the point is to get another, um... We're supposed to stab him. Ah. Yeah, I did everything and then messed it all up. Yeah, we're going to pick that up and then we're... Jeez, I did stupid. I did wrong. Yeah. We completed that, so I'm going to end this episode. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe. It helps this channel a lot. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll know when new videos are coming out. And I will see you guys in my next video.